right, mic check, one, two, one, two. Hey, one, two, one, two. Mic sound good, levels are good, everything's good. We butter, baby, what they say, we butter, baby. We're ready to go. Hey, we have CEO <laughs> Rock in the building. Yeah, man. Jay Rock in the is. building. I'm sure the whole Dallas-Fort Worth already knows yeah. that name. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Name man. rings a bell around if town. that don't, I know that hustle holic do for shit shows, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for coming onto our show. It means a lot to all of our fans watching. We have a lot of uh, young fans out there, our audience, especially our hip hop audience. We love listening to all the new music that comes out on a daily basis. Uh, even when Wu came last week, the audience kind of jumped on it. And you could tell by the amount of likes it's getting, by the amount of comments it's getting, that everybody kind of gravitates towards hip hop. Yeah. And I'm sure you know yourself, it's like, that's the culture. That's yeah. where the culture has been. But it's this wave where everybody just can't help but try to kind of jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. For the people out there listening, could you tell them how did that name go about? When did you become the CEO? Yeah, CEO Rock came along, I say probably like within the last seven, eight months. You know what I'm saying? We I started putting my team back together. And as the team started growing more and more, that's just what they call me, the CEO Rock. How I move like a boss, how we, how, how my team move like a boss, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, every team need a leader. And with you being the CEO, what is the name of your company? Gotta Spit It Entertainment. Okay, yeah. I like that. Gotta Spit It, because you gotta be talking about something over here, man. You just come over here with that old bubblegum yeah. rap. You ain't gonna really make it over here, because we eat niggas up and chew them, spit them out. Yeah. <laughs> you know have, have you had people come through where they just... Didn't have what it takes. Oh, yeah. I done had a couple niggas come in here and be like, no, nah, Rock, I ain't rapping with you, bro. Y'all niggas in here really rapping. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, come on back, get your shit right. I don't know. I let it, I work with anybody that's trying to get to it, but you know, oh, your sure. quality gotta be gotta match. Because if it don't match, that shit ain't gonna that shit ain't gonna match. Them shoes gonna be mismatched. You know what I'm saying? I got you. How many artists do you currently have on your label? Shit, we got by seven. That's a good roster right there. Seven artists. We got by seven, seven artists, you know what I'm saying? Uh, any of them that you could shout out or yeah, let, let us know? Yeah, shout out to Kalo, King J, you know what I'm saying? We got that boy Talent, OG Talent. We got the Wu Blood, you feel what I'm saying? We got Ty, we got the, we got that boy Flame, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple of artists popping out, ready to do their thing. That's, that's what I do. I try to, people that's trying to rap, I try to uh, make them an artist, officially an artist, where you got you can at least go pull them, pull them up and Google them and f figure out who they is. You know, a lot of niggas want to rap, and then when a nigga want to see something, they ain't got nothing to show you. You feel what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. see, all my artists, you can really pull them up and go check them out. They got a live video shot by uh, Jeff Adair, one of the uh, mainstream niggas that shoot videos in the city. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I've, yeah, because there's a lot of people out there that might have the talent to to be a great rapper, but if they don't have somebody to kind of guide them through and show them all the ins and outs of the business, it could backfire on them where they're just they're super talented, but they just can't grow out of it. Oh, you want you got to make sure you got your finances in in order. You feel what I'm saying? Because this shit ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? You spent five bands on a video. Before you know it, and we we shot six videos, seven videos this year, and that's just on videos, so that ain't got nothing to do with wardrobe. And uh, we we flew to uh, we went to Galveston and shot a video down there, so you know, expensive that shit add up quick. So you yeah. make sure you got your money right first, you get out here and drown trying to play with that shit. I wanted to ask you, I know a lot of people say that uh, hip hop in general and being a rapper is one of the most dangerous jobs to have in America. I agree, but it just depends on how you move. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you're out here pushing that type of shit, that kind of energy, then you know that's most likely what's going to come around back to you. You feel what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg been out here for a long time, but you don't, you don't hear Snoop out here talking about shooting, killing niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's pretty much about what you put in the earth that shit come back around. You feel it what feels I'm saying? like you're more on the side of motivation <clears throat> and, yeah, yeah, and grind. Yeah. I don't want to see you kill your best friend that you grew exactly. up with that, that, that we ain't on that you know what i'm saying i, I want to see y'all at least uh squash the beef and then go get some money together that's how it's supposed to be but us as black people how we know it you know well, i'm gonna kill this nigga and on to the next nigga you feel what i'm saying how do you feel about the artists and especially in la where uh, people you know, are that's a different say, don't wear your jewelry yeah, out that's there a different and term, you you know, but that. you gotta you gotta play by the rules wherever you go you gotta play by the rules you can't be all out of bounds Thinking, you know, you a superstar. Them niggas don't give a fuck about none of that shit they see on TMZ, none of them videos, none of that shit. No, you better have your shit in order, have your people with you. You gotta move right. You ain't gonna catch me at the restaurant and I ain't gonna have four, five niggas with me. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Do you believe when you go into another state, when people say kind of like there's a code or you gotta check in? And you know, it's gonna be different rules wherever you go. They gonna make it a problem when it ain't a problem. 
Yeah. It's, it's, it's no, the, the streets feed off beef. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it don't matter how you move or what you do. Some nigga somewhere going to have a problem with it and going to say something. Yeah, it seems like a lot of times what happens is the beef start because it does it creates good music, right? So it brings yeah, this audience yeah, in. That's but what's, all it is. What's happening lately is a lot of the beef is ending in somebody getting shot rather a than kill. just a street fight. Just like Empire. Yeah. Them, you, the seven artists over there done got killed. Them, all them niggas over there dying. Make you think, oh, what they running? Insurance scam. You know yeah, saying? does that feel like a conspiracy <laughs> to you? Because somebody pointed it out to me last week. It's like the the, the most recent six, seven uh, artists that have died have all come from Empire. Empire. And that has saying? to be, so that can't be. Uh, that shit ain't like coincidental. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit just it didn't happen. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Over and over and over and over again. This shit always deeper than rap. I tell my niggas all the time, bro, this shit deeper than rap. You know what I'm saying? The rap is just a part of it. Even when uh, XXX passed, I think it was down in Florida. Uh, are you familiar with the situation where they pretty yeah. much try to rob him out of his? Yeah, out of his, out of his uh, Lambo. I don't know. I feel like if I was in that situation, do you do you just give them the bag of yeah, money? If you rich, you why know not? what I mean. Like if just you give rich, it to you him. Give it to him, bro. But I, I feel at the like... same time, because I don't been in that situation where niggas came in my house and tried to rob me. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? So as a man, you gonna have to stand on business too. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So it ain't like I ain't giving niggas shit. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, nigga gonna have to gonna have to show me that you about that shit you talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas act like they about that shit and don't really be about that shit. You'd be amazed how many niggas you catch in that line of fire that really don't want to shoot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So no, nah, nigga gonna have to show me. How do you feel about Dallas, Fort Worth in general? Would you say Dallas has its places and areas just like New York has, just like LA has? We have, I'm sure we Man. have places here too that people that come out of town must have to check in or it might be a little difficult for them to move I, around unless they I don't know really somebody. think I don't really think uh Dallas got that kind of structure. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think we that organized to check in who they checking in with. Right. You feel what I'm saying that we don't move like that down here. Everybody individual for themselves. So now I don't think I don't think when these niggas coming down here they checking in. But I feel like Dallas everybody here is more <clears> on a good vibe too. Everybody's more positive, right? Like everybody that's out of the Dallas area, we don't have too many artists down here that are more on the uh they just want to beef with people or they want problems we're more yeah, cool nah, we yeah. show love right i feel like nah, we, we show, show a lot of people. love especially the out of towners you know, we gonna show more love to niggas from out of town than our own niggas in the city you feel yeah. what i'm saying that's just how we operate how yeah. do you feel about people like little boosie feeling like they're targeted on social media i mean he's had like three four igs deleted and they won't Man. give him a break he's being pulled over every other week he's not doing nothing wrong in many people's opinions but they're just harassing him left and right. And do you feel Man, like he's being targeted at this point? You gotta understand. See, we in, we in America. You feel what I'm saying? This is a white man's world. Yeah. So when a black man beat the system, they feel like Boosie beat the system. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They feel like he cheated. He he got away. You feel what I'm saying? So they always always gonna be a target on his back just cause. Who are out of like the Dallas area right now? Who are some of the artists that that you're either cool with or that you've worked with before? I, Man. When it comes to like Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy, um, rest in peace to Mo. Is there any of those guys that you've done any uh music with in the past or no nah, I ain't I ain't touched bases with none of them. I just got in uh locked in with uh Bud. That's a Yellow Beezy engineer. Oh, Me and him okay. just locked in yesterday. But uh, you know, I I deal with a uh, Big Chief. You know who Big Chief is? Yeah. Yeah, me and Big Chief, we, uh, we locked in. We got a couple of projects finna drop, you know what I'm saying? You being an OG in the game pretty much at this point, what would you say to like all the young guys coming up when it comes to this topic that we're talking about, especially some of the ones that might be super hot-headed, ready to do whatever it takes? Just Niggas to better sit down. You got to think about your kids at the end of the day. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Because cause baby girl ain't going to be trying to hear, oh, it was a nigga in the street. She don't even know this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? She don't care what that nigga was doing. She want her daddy to walk through that door at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure your old lady can pay them bills. You going to put all that stress on your old lady and shit like that. So... You know, when you get uh when you know better, you move different, you feel what I'm saying? But if you ain't got shit to lose, then you move like you ain't got shit to lose. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, hey man, if I do this shit, who gonna take care of this? Who gonna do that? But niggas mm -hmm. that ain't them young niggas, they young, they ain't got shit. They ain't got no credit score. They don't even know the fuck, they don't give a fuck about a credit score. I used to be a young dumb, like nigga, I got bands. I give a fuck about no credit score, you know what I'm saying? So Do you feel like people target people on social media that kind of show off money, chain, yeah, jewelry, if they see facts. him in the club and You're they know target. that guy? You a target. You you're a target immediately. You're a target immediately. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, yeah. it's, it's niggas. It's niggas out there that, that live for that shit. They sleep yeah. all day because they waking to go to work at night. And when they go to work, I mean go to work. They going to yeah. jack. They going to look for some. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So. But at the same time, you have to have that street cred. I feel like like you might walk through areas and you have the credibility for it. 
if you gave me all your jewelry, uh, jewelry and you told me go walk down that same street, I'd probably get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the easiest matters. look to hit right there. That shit matters. So yeah. I feel like sh- like credibility matters a lot when it comes nah, it to do matter, bro. who it they want to go after, right? Niggas got to know, like, oh, okay, I know him versus who is this nigga? We arrived this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But how do you feel about the. A six nine situation up in New York. You you believe it's just straight up rat Man. snitch, or you believe in his case that he was a civilian? People say. And at the end of the day, I, I feel like if he's moving the way he was moving, and he's you know yeah. acting tough, acting gangster, you either are or you're not. You can't be putting prices on people's heads, people getting shot at, and then when it's time to go to jail or do the time, you want to tell on everybody and act like a civilian. But at the same time, shit. If these niggas that's right here with me right now. Rob me, these my niggas, right? They rob me, put me in the trunk, you know, all the all that cold shit got out the window. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What 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 is we sticking to at this point? Like, it ain't no law. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. nah, that nigga did what he had to do to come home. You had me. Shit. Do you feel like the 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 street code is changing a little bit with like social man, media and things no like code. that? There's no code to these streets, man. Niggas gonna mm-hmm. do what they wanna do. I don't give a fuck how loyal you is to a nigga. Or how good you treat a nigga. A nigga gonna do what they want to do at the end of the day. How do you feel about somebody doing like 30 years right now for not wanting to snitch or rap? But if you look at today's times, it seems like today people would go out and snitch and rap because they know that it's almost like people are learning that your 30, 40 years of life is worth a lot more than keeping your mouth closed. So it's like, what at what point does the street code start to lose its value? Man, niggas just can't be in them situations. Bro. It's tough, you right? Because you have you have uh, friends that you think are your best friends that a year later will screw you over, and you're like, man, what if I would have done thirty years? But for- see, at the end of the day, you gotta do dirt by yourself. Then you ain't gotta worry about this nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If you go by yourself, you ain't gotta worry about what what he gonna say, what they gonna, cause they don't know shit. Once Drug. you have the uh, the hustler's mentality, it you're never, hustling and just different man, aspects. On, where it. It. now it's a, you have a little bit more freedom to it. The hustle back in the day had bigger consequences to it but once you become so good at something you're gonna kind of keep that throughout your whole life and you're gonna keep keep going and keep grinding man and i can leave out this door right now with some oranges by the time i come back i ain't gonna have no oranges i'm gonna have some green you, you feel go. what i'm saying i can sell anything there you, you feel what i'm saying this is have you been uh living in dallas your whole life yeah i've been in dallas my whole life but i just really started back rapping i've been chilling i was uh like i said i got a barbecue business so i was i was doing that for like four five years but these niggas ready to rap, so we rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you, how important is a music video these days? There was an article that just came out that said people don't have the, the attention span. The attention span to watch like a three, four minute video anymore, and that you know music videos should drop down to 30, 40 seconds. I don't, no, I don't believe, believe in that. that. I don't believe that. Niggas still watch TV. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas still clicking Netflix. Yeah. And then the nigga keep his phone in his hand. So I feel like it's just how creative your video is and how interesting I you are. I know my video got 77,000 views. There you go. On, on overdose. Y'all go check that out, man. Oh, for you know sure. What I'm saying? Yeah. So, and we'll come check out the barbecue place, too. Yeah, yeah, we should so. do like a interview there, too, and kind of do then, a... If y'all want to get Chief down here, man, I can holler at Chief. I'm sure you'll come fuck with you boys, man. Yeah, for sure. Let us know. Do you feel like in today's business, so much of it matters on those features where it's like you can be the most talented lyrical artist, but if you don't have the buzz around you, it doesn't really help you much until you get a big name attracted no, to it? I or? think you got to you gotta understand the marketing behind it. You feel what I'm saying? If you, like they say, you spend 2500 on a video, you need to better go spend 2500 on the marketing after you shoot the video. Some niggas just shoot a video and that's it. Yeah. They ain't put no marketing behind and nothing else after that. So that's as far as it goes. Do you pretty much give them the game plan of like, okay, you have to be active on social media or do they just do their own thing as long as they're being productive? Man, we just had a meeting Monday. We call all the artists to the studio. We, you know, we prep. You know what I'm saying? What 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 team you know uh, go play a game and don't do no practicing that week? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we move a little different. You know what I'm saying? We trying to really get uh, the best results out this shit. Um, I feel like when you become successful, right, and you move up and you get your hands on some money, you start to realize the value of the money and you realize the value of businesses and things like that. But a lot of these young hungry guys coming up to them, $10,000 might be a little different than what it is to me and you. Yeah. And those guys will come and do whatever it takes to get their hands on $10,000. Yeah, they will. They, they will. You know but then, I mean? then you just got to watch your surroundings and don't be in them kind of situations. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll just be at the mall. You have people walking by that'll recognize Man, you look, and try if, to snap If people. I'm at the mall, I ain't by myself, I ain't got all this shit on. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I'm oh, going to be a regular nigga. 
Of course. You went right, right by me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's how you move. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like it's unnecessary. You know, if you're by yourself, you don't, you don't need yeah, it. Yeah, this know shit is I mean? costume. This shit is it's like a tool. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? You worked hard for it. Why go out there and put it out there? Not that anybody would mess with you or do anything, but there's no need to even have R- somebody risky. attempt. You feel what I'm saying? No, I ain't like gonna we risk said, it, no, matter, no matter who somebody is, there's always somebody, somebody out there that that don't risk give, it all. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about none of that shit pop music or country music or why do you feel like they don't have as much beef or tension going on and they ain't black <laughs> come <Yeah>. on man <laughs> y'all gotta understand where black folks come from you feel yeah. what i'm saying we come from nothing so when a nigga yeah. do finally get the, the motivation and the knowledge to get some shit like this they ain't gonna protect that shit with his life he ain't be ready to die for that shit and at, yeah. at the same time it's niggas that came from where he came from that want that shit that don't know how to get it but to take it from you did you watch the little baby documentary yeah, that came the documentary. out that was insane yeah, when that you see that crazy. he didn't even want to rap you know but he was making more money in the streets then, you and had saying? to be convinced so, of coming to the rap game and it's just about the niggas that surround you and your surroundings that shit play a big part of you feel what i'm saying you got some niggas behind you that's gonna push you in the right way then ain't no telling what that shit can be. You can be big as a little baby. You feel what I'm saying? But if you got some niggas that ain't gonna push you in the right way, then you know. Who would you say is in the last decade one of like the biggest artists that came out of the Dallas area? Yeah, Mo Three. I agree. Mo Three, man. One niggas want fucking with Lil Three, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, you, you make your beds, you got to lay in it. You feel what I'm saying? It just is what it is. It's real life. This is not no fair tale. Is there anybody that's buzzing right now in the city that, that might not be mainstream yet, but within the next six months to a year, you feel like their career is just about to blow I up? Ain't, I ain't going to lie. I don't even just be listening to a whole bunch of niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? I be so tapped in to me and my niggas, what we got going on. The baby just dropped his album, and he's pretty much being blackballed. He sold like 16K his first week, and we know... If, if he wasn't blackballed, he'd be doing 70, 80K first week. You can't be blackballed. You got to move a certain yeah. way. Man. They, they were calling out like Ebro from Apple Music from not playing the baby's music. Uh, I think even if you pull up Apple Music, the baby's album's not even popping up anywhere on there. You literally got to put in the baby's whole name just for the album to pop up. You know, usually you'll just put like the letter B-A. B or the A. Yeah, yeah. And it's already popping up. Now you got to punch in the whole name. How do you feel about the industry kind of like blackballing people because you work your whole life to get out of the hood to make it. You finally reached some success. You're finally getting good money. And now you have these big corporations still trying to stomp you down and not let you be the man you've worked your whole life to be. Man, we used to that. You feel what I'm saying? We've been dealing with that our our whole life. You know what I'm saying? We had shit given to us. But then when you have people like, for example, a Charlemagne, a Ebro, those are supposed to be the people where you're looking at it like you're at the radio station. You're my people. You're supposed to. And then it's almost like you're over there listening to the corporation. So you almost like you're selling yourself to but the you corporation gotta understand for the that, That's who you see. But who really at the top pulling the strings? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That, he's just the voice. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? He's yeah. just the voice, bro. That's it. It's another nigga over him that you don't see. You, you yeah. don't even know his name. You feel what I'm saying? So shit always deeper than rap. Do you believe that the streaming business pretty much took over the music industry at this yeah, point? Yeah, you gotta Spotify, be streaming. Apple Music. You ain't selling CDs out the trunk no more. I tell you no. that. You know what what is the best way to promote your music these days? Other the social media, online. I, you know, back in the day, it's like you'd go out, hand out mixtapes, CDs, things like that. Yeah, pull up. What What does a uh, up and coming artist do these days? You gotta uh, get behind some uh, marketing companies and and get your song on some playlists. It's all digital. So you can get though. some streams. Yeah, it's all digital, bro. That's yeah. why Wu came. Wu was like, shit. He he really figured it out. You know, I'm old school. See, I'm like, shit, you know, what we do from here? You know what I'm saying? I don't know shit about none of this internet shit, none of all this shit. So he came and filled my goddamn head up with a whole bunch of shit that I still ain't processed yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to have you a nigga that's running around doing that type of shit at uh, your age. You feel what I'm saying? How do you feel about Jay-Z being, you know, pretty much a, a, an old head at this point? But every time he drops an album, it's still a, a legendary see, album see, every the, single time. That's the thing with, with rap music. Why Why yeah. we the only music you got to be too old to do this shit? I you agree. Saying? Why you can be a, a rock and roll artist? Yeah. You can be 60, 70 years old, still get up yeah. there rocking out. But as soon as a nigga get 40, 50 years old and he can't rap no more, that shit crazy, yeah. man. I don't get that shit. Do you feel like it's because a lot of the, especially young rappers, try to rap about the street life and things like that. So it's like when they reach 30, 40 years old, it's like, well, at this point, you've been out of the streets for such a long time that would you say they run out of things to rap about? Or it's just not as interesting because all people want to hear about is the negativity that happens in hip hop. That's why 
you know somebody makes a positive song it's not getting as many plays they want to hear the ne- the negative things they they love the beef they yeah, love yeah, all that's this that's what we feed off negativity bro this is is just the way of the world you know yeah. what i'm saying this is the way of the world if you if you if you watching a video of me hipping an old lady versus me slapping the shit out this old lady which one you gonna watch first you're gonna yeah, watch exactly. me slapping yeah. the shit out this old lady versus yeah. me having a pussy buggy yeah just, people are gonna grab their camera the world, and say i bro. can't believe it look at this video yeah, look what he just did world, but if you gave that same person a hundred dollars or some cash or helped out that same video is not going around saying, I can't believe he just did this. Look at this. Yeah. You know People just feed off a negative energy it's and it's just up, the way bro. it is. It's, it's, it's going to be like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? What what make the news? Not the good shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hear about the good shit. You're going to hear yeah. about the bad shit on the news. You feel what I'm saying? So. Man, I want to say like we got to find a way to change the narrative, yeah, but it's so hard. It. It's not going to change it. because that's what, if I'm an up and coming artist and I'm hungry, and motivated and i need to do whatever it takes to to get to some amount of money you gotta adapt I, you know you gotta adapt so it's like my first instinct is i'm willing to risk it all i'm going out there i'm beefing with whoever it takes i'm gonna nah, risk it all but it's like you know you already know what comes with that yeah i ain't doing that shit. how do you feel like when 50 Cent no back beefing. in the day came out with that song how to rob and he just went at like 30 people do you remember that well that's what fit to do fit the troll you feel yeah. what I'm saying? He, he now feel but when it's it taking it too far do you feel like if an artist try that today, that things could end for him all, uh, pretty I mean, quickly it, uh, compared to back I mean, in the 2000s. It all depends on who it is, bro. Because some niggas ain't going to uh, pay that shit no attention. They ain't going to even acknowledge it. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? They're going to act like it never happened. And I feel like 50 back in his day, he was naming all the people that were already kind of blown up. So they, they're not going to be in the in the streets risking it. You know, they're already millionaires. That shit to get on, bro. It's a gimmick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's all that shit was a gimmick. Yeah, and it worked. Because he's still doing that shit. He yeah, talked that shit to 6 9 And 6 9 do that, that bullshit. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So, do you feel a way knowing that 6 9s out here still moving the way he's moving, but there's like legendary artists that are getting killed left and right? And 6 9 is the law. He gets, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. He's law. He, he, he has yeah. security around him. Them niggas yeah. is laws. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He fuck around being informant at this point. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, no, you ain't going to touch him. <laughs> yeah. I see. It's, it's almost like he, he's a joke at this point, yeah, would you say? Yeah, yeah. With everything that he's done, he has zero street credibility. Yeah, no, nah, he ain't no street nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no street nigga coming in the game with all that But I feel like ass. he wasn't from the beginning. I feel like it was more just the he had the hype around him and the people around him knew that he they the could. the promotion, man. The marketing. Like he had a bad ass marketing behind him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That little colorful ass her and grill. You know what I'm saying? Colorful ass grill. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. something new. Do you think that he knew from day one that he was using the people around him? Or do you no, feel I like there was a brotherhood for real? No, I think he never knew it was going to end up real. like that. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, when you when you building something and you got niggas around you on a daily basis, you think it's all love for real until it ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who are some of the artists that you still listen to to this day? I know you said you're more of kind of like a yeah, I listen to old a lot school, of old shit. Or would you... I'm still along with 8-Ball, MJG, okay. uh, Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bum B, Pimp. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still in. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm back there. I don't I, I, I don't know none of these new niggas. You all these little, I don't know these niggas, man. I don't listen to that shit. Yeah. A lot, a lot of the young rappers getting uh, uh extreme amount of face tattoos. How do you feel about that? At the end of the day, you, uh, I hope that your rap career go far as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Because you yeah. can't rap forever. Yeah. So you got to have something else to fall back on. Yeah. And you got to be able to look presentable. You feel what I'm saying? I could take this shit off. I could take all this shit off right now. Yeah. Go put on a nice suit and tie. Jump out my bins and hand you a lawyer card and tell you I'm a lawyer. You will believe me. You feel what I'm saying? It's all about the costume you got on. Yeah, sometimes you might want to present yourself in a in a business meeting or you might be signing a, a different type of deal or something yeah, that's yeah, business yeah. important. And now if you have all these tattoos and things like that, even though it's working well for your rap career, if that stops working out, you're not looking very presentable for this big nah, deal that you're trying to sign over here. Out, man. Putting all this shit out on your face. I know earlier we were talking about the biggest artist out of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, what about Post Malone? Do we consider him as part of hip hop, or is he more in a in a in a another genre? If a nigga doing hip hop, making songs is hip hop. <laughs> See yeah. what else you go call yeah. it? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Shit, it's hip hop. It is what it is. Yeah. Where a nigga from don't mean shit. Yeah. What do you feel of the term when people say they're using the culture, they're using the hip hop? Is there? Mm. A, it, can you just truly look like Eminem? You know, Eminem. 
he was a pretty he much a white boy say, that could just rap. Would you say he was using rap. the culture he can rap or though, he just fits? He can rap rap though. So yeah. it ain't like he was just trying to get in just to use the culture. That nigga really got in and perfected that shit. Started eating niggas up. You feel what I'm saying? You don't even want to get on, on track with him now. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't got nothing against that nigga. Hey, 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 who's to say that you got to be black to do hip hop? Where did the, where's that in the, in the fucking uh, guidelines in the rule book? I ain't never seen that shit. Yeah. You no, feel what I'm saying? I agree. I feel like with Post Malone situation, he, with being being a world artist, top artist out there, if he would have just said it a little bit differently, or I feel like he almost said that he doesn't want to be a uh, a hip hop artist anymore, and that's where people took it the wrong way because they said, well, I mean, in your first big song, White Iverson, you were you braided your hair, and I think he was wearing a grill and things like that. So yeah. it's like you were portraying this image. Now that you blew up, you're saying you don't want to do it anymore. And that kind of a lot of people well, got upset about got that. that image to me. He ain't got no, he ain't got the white boy image. He still look yeah. like a, yeah. a hip hop artist yeah, to me. Sure. You feel what I'm saying? The thing is, he's so mainstream right now. It's like everybody would want to do a song with him, you know. And he was he was based right here out of uh, the Grapevine, Texas area. Yeah, yeah literally yeah. grew up here, maybe 20 minutes from where yeah, we are. Boy, yeah, yeah. I know you got to get out of here, so we won't hold you up too much longer. Yeah. But where do you see your business in the next year? And how do you see your artists working and where do you see the big picture 12 months from now? Man, 12 months from now, I know we've been on did a lot more work, probably put out 10 more videos, you feel what I'm saying? Probably been on drop three, four more artists uh, videos to get their projects going. But, you know, I can't call it, man. It might be next week. You know, who say it's going to be that long? You feel what yeah. I'm saying? This shit, this shit changed lives overnight. So. Yeah. All we can do is keep working and keep moving forward. I ain't really got no day set up. Like, it's a hobby for me, bro. Yeah. I already got money. I already got uh, six cars, a uh, half a million dollar house. Everything these nigga rapping for, I already got that shit, so. Yeah, I mean, I saw even when you arrived here, you had the big body S class. So yeah, people already bro, know like, if you so, drive a, a a big body S class, that's a boss car right there. And I don't even drive with, it. So. The bitch in the garage. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, if it pop, it pop, but. The thing know, we is, just having fun with it, man. We really we'll want to have this fun note, with it. I feel like as long as you have that money back feature in your back pocket, you're going to be all right. It's going to be all right, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I appreciate you coming tonight on our show. I appreciate y'all, man. All the talker fans out there watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode. With that being said, y'all have a good night. Y'all got a nice spot thank out you. here too, man. We're going to have to come back out here, man. I like this. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yo, thank you so much. Yes, appreciate sir. that. Yes,